What's up everybody? I'm Joshua Thomas and I just need to talk some more Final Fantasy VII Remake. And today we're going to discuss what could possibly happen in Rocket Town. But before we get to that, I'm going to show some of this beautiful background footage of uh, the remake. Uh, and there, there's going to be spoilers for the remake, possibly remake part two or part three and FF7, the original game. Uh, this is all gonna have to take place in Rocket Town. I'm gonna show you some original footage from there, but we need to talk real quick about the state of the Final Fantasy VII community. Uh, if you guys follow along with the community, then you know that some really serious stuff has happened in uh, the past few weeks, and uh, there's been some toxicity uh, that toxicity has been addressed by many others, and I, I just need to say a word about it as well because it, we, it can't be said enough. You know, we as the fans, we set the pace for what people are going to see and what people are going to think of us. But also, we should just try to harbor a positive community. And if we want to have discussions or disagree with someone, it's absolutely possible to do that in a constructive way, you know, in a respectful way. We can disagree and, and still be friends at the end of the day. So when you are posting or you're thinking about posting something, when you see a video with someone who disagrees with you, like maybe I'm going to say, hey, you know, they were thinking about giving Tifa a breast reduction for the remake. I don't, I don't honestly care if they would have. It, it wouldn't have changed the story. It wouldn't have changed her character. It wouldn't have changed her personality. And many people out there disagree with that. And that's okay. Because in the end, they remained the same. She didn't get a breast reduction. And it, it's, it's fine. So when people are out, out there harassing, especially creators of the game, you, you just gotta take a step back and just say, hey, look, let's, let's, let's keep the conversation constructive. And that's, that's all I'm gonna say about that. Many, many of the um, YouTube content creators have made entire videos based on that solely, but let's get into Rocket Town. So what I'm gonna discuss here is I'm gonna show you uh, the sequence of events that happens in Rocket Town, and we're just gonna go over them and say, how are they gonna do this in the remake, part two, or, or part three? So, so here's my theory. If, if the remake is gonna be three games long, we are gonna see Rocket Town in the next part, part two. If the remake is gonna be four games total, I don't think we will see Rocket Town in the next part. I think Rocket Town will be the beginning of part three, if that is the case. Uh, which would honestly make for a pretty eventful opening to part three. Uh, but nevertheless, let's get into that. And once again, spoiler alert for everything that happens in Rocket Town. Um, and yeah, so let's just go from there. Let me make sure. Let me make sure this works. There we go. All right, so we've got here in the beginning uh, not so much to worry about this. This is where we're talking to Shara and Palmer, and we go outside and we see that Rufus is, well, Sid is confronting Rufus about everything that he's taken away from him. Uh, this I could absolutely see being in the remake, although we may even get some tidbits in Remake Part 2 earlier on, maybe in Junon. Uh, maybe we'll see Sid in Junon and he's trying to confront Rufus there. But nevertheless, I think this part could go much the same. And uh, if you've got your own theories about how the events in Rocket Town are going to go, absolutely leave a comment in, uh, in the comments section. I want to hear what you guys have to say about this segment of the game. So Shara pulls us in the house and is like, hey, uh, Palmer is trying to take, uh, take the tiny Bronco, which is this one-seater plane right here. It, it's, 
it's kind of silly to think that Rufus wanted to take that and, and go chase down Sephiroth in the first place, but that was just the way the games were back then. And so then, okay, here's my first question. Do you think we're going to fight Palmer like this? Like, it's just going to be Palmer with a Mako gun. It's, it's, very, it's a very comical and easy fight. This is more just, just a comic relief boss fight. So I'm going to skip to, where's the end? Yeah, you can see he's using his Mako gun. Let's see. We're going to get to, you can see the tiny Bronco in the background. Keep in mind, this was in 1997. These are state-of-the-art graphics for 1997. All right, is this what does him in? Yep, I think so. So here we go. He's about to uh, run away. The tiny Bronco is starting to uh, take off without everybody. And I, I honestly can't believe they added this part to the original game. I, I actually want to see that in the remake. I just want to see him try to run away and get hit by a truck if we are actually going to fight him. So after the battle, it's going to cut back to the main party. I got Hammer Blow. All right. And the Edin Coat. So once again, the limitations of the game, we're back to a JPEG here, but then it's going to cut uh, because they can't stop it. Everybody has to jump on, then it cuts to the uh, cinematic cutscene, but it still has the, the, the tiny chibi characters on it. And this is the part. Right here we've got three people jumping on the tiny Bronco, but in, in the remake, at this point, we're going to have eight characters, and then right here we're, we're about to pick up Sid as our ninth character. So here's my question to you guys. How is this sequence going to go down? Because uh, the creators have been uh, you know, quoted as saying they don't want to get rid of all of those beloved moments from the original game. The, the game is going to follow the same course and have many of our favorite events in it. Uh, I have no doubt that this is the favorite event of many people right here. But you can see it's a single-seater plane, and they're just all grasping onto the wings. State-of-the-art graphics once again from 1997. And, yeah, that's... What's going to happen in Rocket Town? What's the escape going to be like in Final Fantasy VII Remake Part Two or Part Three? They're not going to put eight people on this plane just hanging onto the wings. If they do, I am going to be amazed. And it's going to be interesting to see how the mechanic works for when we do have eight and then nine characters in our party. Are we going to get to choose which characters we have at this point? Or will cutscenes like this just have the main characters who are important to those particular scenes in them? Or are they going to kind of choose for us based on you know, who's more important to play, kind of like they did in the Shinra building, where it was like, hey, Aerith and Tifa are in your party now. Oh, hey, uh, you know, Aerith and Tifa left your party. Now it's, now it's Barrett and Aerith. Um, so I'm very curious to see your thoughts on that. I think we're going to see something very, very different. I can't explain what it's going to be. Maybe the tiny Bronco isn't going to be so tiny. I still want to see some kind of neat escape like this. I, I want to see it. But also, I don't see them using the tiny Bronco as a means of moving around the water, the shallow waters and rivers, like they do in the original game. So after this scene, you can use the tiny Bronco to travel through the water uh, because it has been disabled and it can't fly anymore. So I'm not sure if I show it moving here. But yeah, so this is, this is what happens in the original game. Do you think we're going to have some mode of transportation at this point? Or do you think they're going to take us straight to Wutai after this? Th th there's so many possibilities, especially with the mystery of how far Part 2 is going to go. If, if this is the beginning of Part 3, uh, I can definitely see them going to Wutai after this. If, uh, 
if this is the beginning or at towards the end or the 75% mark of part two, then I, I don't feel like they would go necessarily to Wutai because that would kind of be like veering off to one side, but you never know they could surprise us and make that like side content or, well, Yuffie's going to be a main character, not an optional character, so who knows. Uh, uh, Wutai is probably going to be right after Rocket Town. I am guessing that. But man, what what kind of vessel are they going to have? What kind of escape are they going to make? These are the questions, and I can safely say, based on what I've seen so far, they, they've surprised us. They had Hell House. They had some other creatures that were boss fights. So there, there could be so many directions that they go with this. And I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to seeing how this happens. It's, I, I, I trust the, the creators, I trust the directors to hand us very quality material like they did in Remake Part 1. In spite of all the changes, I know a lot of people don't like the changes, they prefer the original, and that's fine. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I, I've got full trust in the creators that Part 2 is going to be a blast and is going to expand upon the world of Final Fantasy VII in a positive light. So let me know what you think is going to happen in Part 2. Do you think Rocket Town is going to be in Part 2? I know a lot of people are uh, speculating that we're going to make it as far as the Temple of the Ancients. If it's a three-part game, I absolutely see us making it to the Temple of the Ancients. Also, you should check out more of these videos about Final Fantasy VII, especially the one where I explain why Midgar is 25% of the original game. I think you'll find that to be interesting because I've seen comment after comment after comment in other people's videos explaining that Midgar is only, you know, 5% or 6%, and, and I think you'll agree with me after watching that. So thank you guys for watching this one. I hope you'll comment below, like, and subscribe, and check out more board game and video game videos on the Felred Express, including more Final Fantasy VII videos to come. See you guys later.